it's time to purge my closet. <laughs> like we have the one planning, you know what I'm saying? Hey guys, what is up? It's 1.30 and I haven't eaten anything this morning. I literally had water and a coffee and that's it. But the coffee, it's like a, I don't know what it's called, but coffee like suppresses your appetite. So I literally wasn't hungry. That's why I usually like to eat before my coffee just because I know coffee like doesn't make me hungry. So that's not really good, but it's fine once in a while. But I'm gonna show you guys like a quick and healthy snack that I used to make all the time and I haven't made it in so long. So I was just like, why don't I show you guys? Because it's really good and I've never made this, I don't think, before on a video, it's super quick. So basically you just take your banana and then chop it up into little circles like that. Okay, so take the banana, get some peanut butter. This is like a crunchy all natural peanut butter. I love crunchy peanut butter. It's definitely my favorite types of peanut butter. It just, just makes it 10 times better, the crunchiness of it. So take the peanut butter of your choice or whatever you have at home and then take the banana Put the peanut butter, put the peanut butter like that on the banana, and then place it on your plate. Do that to all of the little banana slices. Okay, so now that I got all my bananas peanut buttered, what I do is I go in with chocolate chips. Take whatever chocolate chips of your choice. These are dairy-free chocolate chips. This brand. These are like mini ones. I love mini chocolate chips. They just make everything better. I don't know why. And then you just put as many chocolate chips as you want on each one. I kind of like to load them because I love chocolate chips. Okay, so this is what they look like. Obviously, it's personal preference how much peanut butter and chocolate chips you put on. I load them a lot. So, it's whatever you want. You can adjust it to your preference. And then literally what I do is I'll literally just take a fork and eat it like this. So, it's a perfect healthy snack. I call them little peanut butter bites. And it's perfect to eat when you're like doing work or something because it's with a fork so you're not getting your hands dirty. So, mm, so freaking good. If you try them out, let me know how you like them. Okay guys, so it is currently four o'clock and I just did a whole bunch of work. I'm pretty much done for the day for work. Right now, I'm gonna do my makeup because I have to take an Instagram picture for White Fox later today because I'm planning on going to watch the sunset. So I was thinking of like bringing a cute blanket and like taking a photo at the viewpoint that I'm at, if that works out. So I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my makeup right now so that I can have that done. And then I'm going to clean out my closet because I need to get rid of clothing. I need to do a closet clean out. So I think I'm gonna do that after I do my makeup, but I kind of just want to get my makeup done first so that I don't need to worry about it later. So yeah, let's do my makeup. I already showed you guys a makeup tutorial in a previous video. I'll link it down below for you guys because I'm not gonna like show it in depth. I'm just gonna do like a montage in this video just because I've already shown it. So you guys already know what I do if you watch that video. And if you didn't, then I'll have a link down below. Every time I do my makeup, by the way, I make sure to like put on a YouTube video or something just because I just don't like doing my makeup without some type of entertainment. It's just like kind of boring. Okay guys, so I just finished my makeup and it's time to purge my closet. This has been long awaited and since it's like summer, I feel like it's a new season. I always get rid of little things, like if I see it, I'm like, oh, I don't like this anymore. I haven't done like a huge purge in a while, so this is gonna be so cleansing. And it's actually crazy that like some of the clothing that we have has like memories attached to it. Like you can pick up a piece of clothing and it can remind you from like a time in the past and you're like, oh shit, I either wanna keep this or I wanna get rid of it, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's really important that you associate positive vibes with all of your clothing and if an article of your clothing is reminding you of like a bad time throw that shit out okay i guess we're gonna start with the tank tops i also want to start integrating more good quality things into my wardrobe i would always just like shop on shein and it, that's like cute stuff i will say but a lot of it is just super cheap material it doesn't last long and i don't know i just want to start like buying better quality pieces even though they're pricier i feel like it's better for the long term because they last longer but anyways let's purge ladies and gentlemen I bought this top like two years ago and I haven't worn it since and it's like I keep keeping it I don't know for what like it's a cute shirt But like I just don't think it's my vibe anymore. So out she goes This top is like pretty cute, but it just like doesn't fit nicely. It's very cheap quality So I've never worn it. I don't think I've ever worn it. Haven't worn this in like 10 years I literally don't think I ever wore that. Like there's so many things in my closet that it's like 
Have I ever even worn this? I think this is cute. I feel like I can see myself wearing this in the summer, so I'm gonna keep that. It's like on the fence type of piece, but I feel like I just haven't worn it in a while because it's been like winter, so. I really did like this top when I saw it online, but it comes down too low and it's just a really weird fit. So time to get rid. I tie-dyed this, but it's just like, I don't know, I just can't really see myself wearing this in the future. There's so many pieces that I'm like on the fence about. I think this top just kind of looks too ratty, you know what I mean? Like it just looks old and I just don't like the way I feel when I wear it, so. Definitely outgrown this top. Not like outgrown physically, but it takes me back to a time period, you know? This top is just flat out see-through. Very sad. Very much on the fence about this shirt. I feel like it's very 2018 me. So that's leaving the premises. This is kind of getting a little old. Bye-bye. Bought this, never wore it. It's a little too neon for me personally. This cheetah bodysuit definitely takes me back, but don't think it's for me anymore. This was like my, not my grad dress. I forget what I, oh, I wore this to grad breakfast. I just don't know if I'm ever going to wear it again. It is really cute though, so maybe I will pay more attention to it. It is summer, so we'll see. We'll reevaluate this. Time for the shorts because I definitely have a lot to get rid of in this department. I just don't like the way that these fit me. They're from Walmart. Like they were used to be sweatpants and I cut them, but they just don't, just don't fit me, right? They look kind of ratty. Got these from Walmart. I thought they were going to be a cute biker short look. They don't even fit me. I don't know why I still have them. Cheetah biker shorts. Definitely not the vibe anymore. I got these shorts from Shein and I, I thought they would be like different material. They're okay, but I just can't see myself wearing them because the material is just very uncomfortable. So these are just too short. These as well. These as well. They're actually kind of good pajama shorts, so maybe I'll keep them for that. Oh god, these were like my OG wear every day type of shorts in the summer. These gotta go. I've outgrown them for sure. I used to literally wear these shorts every single day, like not even joking you in the summer. They might be like too short on me now, so we'll see. These used to be sweatpants, but I cut them into shorts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, just don't really like the way that they fit, so. These shorts are just like really bad quality. Don't vibe with them. This feels so good to purge. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I was gonna keep these, but technically they're okay. Okay, but I realize they're very like unflattering on my body and I just don't like wearing them very unflattering So why would I keep something that I don't feel confident in like I realize that it's so important to feel confident in the clothing that you wear Because it really does like set the mood for when you put an outfit on in the morning what you put on it Like definitely affects your confidence like when I'm wearing something that I love and I'm confident in I feel like a boss ass bitch But when I'm wearing something that is like in eh, like kind of sloppy and doesn't fit my body, right? I just don't feel as good. These are a no-no. I like am in desperate need Need of new jean shorts. I'm on the hunt for some jean shorts. Like these are probably way too small on me, but I'm still gonna keep them just because I'm just so limited with jean shorts right now. Like, until I find new ones, I'm just gonna keep these ones that I have just in case. Big no no for me. Definitely a no. Definitely a no. I literally love these pants so much. I thrifted them. They're Nike and I can make such a cool look with these, but I just haven't found like the right opportunity to wear them. So I'm still gonna keep them just because they're so dope, but I've literally never worn them before. This tie dye set is just really bad quality. I got it from Shein. It's just so bad quality. It doesn't make me feel confident, so bye. This pajama set that I got off Shein like a long time ago, it's so bad quality. It's so see-through. It looks so cute in the photo, and then when it got here, it didn't even fit me, so. You guys, how cute is this orange matching set? I haven't found a moment to wear it yet, but I'm keeping it for the, for the big debut. Honestly, I was super into Cheetah at one point, but don't think it's my vibe anymore, so bye. Definitely, yes. Definitely bye. The snakeskin skirt is just definitely not my vibe anymore. I really have a period wrapper over here. I really did like this skirt at one time, but I don't think it's my vibe anymore once again. So along with this snake skirt, definitely not my vibe anymore. Definitely this skirt as well. This skirt is just doesn't really fit me the way that I would want it to. And I don't know why I still have it, so. Okay, we're doing great so far. Oh god, okay. We shall conquer the jackets now. This champion honey is like, I don't know, I just don't like it anymore. I just haven't worn this in so long, so it's time to it's time to let her go. This, I think my mom would really like this because I just don't wear it often enough. This can go to my mother. This gray hoodie is just a little too old. I feel like this is really cute for Christmas. Ugh, I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I'll keep it and see if I wear it around Christmas time. I feel like this is a really cute Christmassy sweater, but she's gonna have to go for now. I think I'm gonna put my jacket in my downstairs closet just because it takes up too much room here and we have a lot of space downstairs. So this is just a little too small on me. I think I'm gonna put this one in the downstairs 
downstairs closet as well for the winter. I'm gonna put it downstairs. So I would never really wear this cardigan on my own terms, if that makes sense. Like I would never style an outfit with this cardigan. But the times that I think of wearing this is like the rare occasion. I just have an inkling to keep this for some random occasion that I need a cover up like this, even though I would never wear this like on my own terms. So we're gonna keep that in the back of the closet. This vest has gotta go. Oh my god, this feels so good. Okay, we're doing really good. By the way, this is like all my Depop stuff that I wanted to sell that no one has bought yet. <laughs> so if you wanna go buy something, I'll have a link below. I really like this crew neck and all. Like I thrifted it, but it got like really weirdly dirty here and it's like yellow stained. So I think it's gotta go. Oh, oh no. I should not have put the hanger here. I really did like this flannel. Like I love the colors on this flannel, but it's just, I didn't notice when I bought it off of Shein that there was like this weird middle thing. So I really don't like this. So we're just going to remove it for now. See if I can sew it, fix it in some type of way. Yeah, that's really prohibiting me from wearing it. I think I'm gonna color coordinate my closet right now. I really need to get new zip up sweaters as well, just because mine are just very old and ratty looking, but until I get new ones, I'm not going to get rid of them. And I'm going to get rid of this one, not because it's old and ratty, but first of all, it's just like bad quality. Second of all, it just does not fit me right. It doesn't make me feel confident. So that's gotta go. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I just don't think that red is my color. Therefore, getting rid of it. Also, I have this really cool neon zip up that I thrifted. It's literally a two extra large. That's definitely not my size, but let's try her on. I'm gonna go in the mirror. Honestly, I can't see myself wearing this and I haven't worn this, so. I really want to get new hoodies. I just don't have any hoodies that like excite me anymore and that I want to wear. I just have like a couple and I don't know. I just feel like now that I've purged a whole bunch of stuff, I feel like that's something that I really want to get is new hoodies. This dress just doesn't really fit me nice. I don't really like the fit of it. Whenever I get rid of clothing, I always like make scenarios in my head. I'm like, but what if this occasion arrives and I need this? Like I always make scenarios that almost would never happen and up in my head so I can keep that item of clothing. It's like, that's never gonna happen, Michaela. That's never gonna happen. Okay, wow. We did really freaking good here. You know what, you guys? I hate this gray zip up so much. I'm just gonna get rid of it before I get a new one because I just can't have it in my closet anymore. This is a new me. I feel so good. I really like the fit of these Gildan zip ups. Like the fit is really nice. So I think think that I might like get some guild and zip ups. I don't know. I just like the fit that they have. I've had so many sweatpants that get like holes right in the crotch. And it's like, why does this happen to me on so well? I guess they're cheaper quality, so that makes sense. But it's like in the crotch, it's the worst place. Honestly, I have realized that it's a lot better to get one good quality thing instead of getting like three bad quality things, if that makes sense. So for example, it's better to spend the money on getting like a $50 zip up hoodie rather than getting three different shades of a $10 gray zip up hoodie and then having them like last and deteriorate in the next like few months, if that makes sense. So I just realized that it's better to like buy good quality pieces because it just lasts longer. You'll feel more confident in it. And I think going forward with my fashion, fashion journey and my clothing that's what I'm gonna try to do my best with because so many of the things that I bought in previous years are just very disposable so yeah going forward I'm definitely gonna like keep that in mind and be more conscious when I'm shopping throwing away two more dresses that I just can't see myself wearing you guys look at how many hangers I got rid of I'm so proud of myself this is like monumental right here look at this giant ass pile of clothing my closet looks so much better Okay, you guys, so here is the final product. It is literally so freaking clean. It makes me so happy, like so organized, and it's filled with the things that I'm genuinely gonna wear because I'm not even joking you. Like just before I cleaned it out, my closet was filled with things that I don't wear. Like I probably wore maybe 20% of the clothing that was literally in my closet, so it feels so freaking good to purge. This is your sign to go purge your closet so we can have matching clean ass closets. Feels so good. Like it literally feels like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Like it just feels so good. So highly suggest you do this, and I feel like it's so important to do this regularly because there was just so many pieces of clothing 
that I genuinely didn't even wear and I would just like, repeat wearing the same things. And it's so important to like reflect on your clothing and put it into perspective. Like, do I really like this anymore? And apparently I didn't like a lot. I just feel so good. Oh my goodness. I'm literally so happy that I did that. Hey guys, so it is currently eight o'clock. I literally spent 10 million hours doing my closet. Like I spent at least four hours doing that, but I'm so happy that it's done. It feels so good. I just kind of need to clean the rest of my room now. Like not declutter, but just kind of like tidy it up because I put kind of everything everywhere when I was cleaning. So I'm going to do that when I get home. But right now we're just going to watch the sunset with Julia and Juliana. And I also have to take a picture for White Fox for Instagram. So I have a fit on right now. And I think I'm going to take it at the sunset place. Hopefully it turns out good there. We'll see because <laughs> I need to get it done by Friday and it's Tuesday. And it's going to be raining for the rest of the week. So this is really the only chance I got. So it's fine. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to drive them. They're just meeting us here at my house. And yeah, the weather forecast for my city, you guys, is so lame it's so sad look at this look at the rain it's literally raining every single day after today it's june it's june mother nature what are you doing you guys live in a hot climate i am so jealous of you please appreciate it because i i wish i wish it's kind of weird because like i never realized that here in canada everywhere in canada literally it's not just here in canada but everywhere in canada we get two months of the summer and that's it especially here in vancouver it rains literally <laughs> every day like so often there's never not a day in the winter where it's not raining like if there's not a day where it's raining it's like a miracle i'm complaining too much but i just want the summer because like summer's my favorite season and i just want it to be hot so it's kind of frustrating when june is supposed to be hot and it's not hot it's raining i hope it's not because of global warming probably is though we're mistreating our earth you guys it makes me so sad there's projections that in like 40 years our earth is going to be like completely destroyed if we continue our ways and that is so sad we all have to start making a better contribution to helping the planet because it's our future like it's not just our kids future and our grandkids future but it's like our future as well like, we're gonna be living on this planet like we have one planet you know what i'm saying so we gotta take good care of it we're both literally wearing the same exact sweatpants and long socks too. are you wearing the same sweatpants too <laughs> like same well, jogger same, like, style, um, style. So we are currently watching the sunset once again. You know what I was thinking? Sunset Squad. <laughs> we should change our group chat name to be the Sunset Squad. It's gotta be watching all the sunsets now. Hey, we're almost gonna... to be a part of our summer bucket list and watch a sunset every single day. <laughs> That's a lot of sunsets. I don't think Julia would be able to survive every sunset. She might sneeze herself to death. <laughs> Julia's allergic to nature, if y'all didn't know. Guys, this get together for our This is good lighting. <gasps> Really. It's like it it's like good, good lighting. lighting. As me and Julia are oh like twinning. Oh my god, twinning. This is good. <laughs> These are really good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see if I looked good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little off. Oh, but... Just a little. It'll look good. <laughs> 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 it's gold. Look at me. I'm like talking. It's about that one. <laughs> literally, I'm I literally would. thinking a junior chicken and a double cheeseburger like a Big Mac and then me and Julia oh, share a large fries. Are nasty and then you want fries? Yeah. Give me your I sleep. don't know how people look through their fucking eyes unless they're crystal clear. Yeah, yeah literally. Michaela I don't know just... what you're doing with <laughs> these. These are not blocking the sun, these are blocking the view. <laughs> if I have smudges, I cannot look at them. Yeah, I can't either. Like, I'll just like, be focusing on it. Yeah, it really <laughs> Michaela has too many quirks. This girl has dirty ass sunglasses. She twists her earphone he headphone cords. She twists her seatbelt and couldn't care less. Yeah. Like I this just, girl literally so makes big. would make an OCD Oh my god, my face go is crazy. way too small for these. I just I just don't like give a shit. Like I just don't really pay attention to those things, you know? Like 
fries, so I'm gonna do three separate orders if that's okay. Just a medium fries, please. Um, the second order, can I get a junior chicken, double cheeseburger, like a Big Mac, and a large fries, please? One piece chicken nugget. Thank you. Um, should I ask for some extra McChicken? That's yes. the fresh out yeah. the oven. <laughs> it feels like burning okay. his tongue. That's fresh. Oh, yes. I <laughs> <was> <laughs> <forgetting>. <laughs> oh, no, my ring fell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the hell just hit me in the face? Did it actually hit you? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, me. look at how tiny Julia's fingers are. Like, that ring fits. This is my big hand. Dumb. Look at the gap. Yeah, it fits so well, it's not gonna fall off. <laughs> it's just shaking around. <laughs> and that fits Michaela's thumb. There she goes. Bam! <laughs> perfect fit. McDonald's feast. Mm. Really she ate all the fries in the car. <laughs> Wait, no, we and Julia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not fair. just me. Fair enough. And then you got your chicken. She got two. Two McChickens? One junior chicken and one double cheeseburger like a Big Mac. Oh, okay. Oh, I need a little baby.